Mm-hmm. What do you think about helmets? Are you ever going to wear one? I don't know. Like, you see, so we've both seen it. The person hits their head and they start wearing a helmet. Mm-hmm. But that's the usual push for someone to put the helmet on. Yeah. For me, and people will say, oh, there's different helmets that don't block your ears or whatever. It's not just the blocking of the ears, which is huge as well. The, yeah. For me, it seems like this. The helmet blocks your senses. It is clamped on your head, not just over your ears, which would block your equilibrium and your balance. To me, it does. Uh, but something clamped onto your head, mm-hmm. it just feels bad. Like even when I was in Ireland, I couldn't keep the hood up. I would pull yeah. the hood off when I was catching waves, pull it on when there was a lull because I couldn't stand anything clamped on my head. Yeah, I'm like, okay, if I start wearing a helmet, is it going to be the cause of an injury versus preventing an injury? Uh, it's a give and take, right? Yeah. Is you, it important enough to start wearing? Like, what's the risk uh, versus reward if it just by wearing it you cause yourself to hit your head on the reef? Yeah, because it puts you in such a bad spot. You can't surf and, at your level your, of surfing. Your balance isn't there, right? Like we've learned to balance yeah. underwater. How many times have you put yeah. your hand out completely blind with your eyes closed, knowing the reef was going to be there? Yeah. So you many have times. those reflexes. I have the reflexes. But yeah. something over your head, is that going to block that? Yeah. I um, I tried on someone's helmet not long ago, just out at Pipe. I think it was Koa Smith's. And um, it fit. Like, I put it on. It fit. It was definitely uncomfortable, just like a helmet. By the way, I grew up. I, was, I had to wear a helmet my whole yeah, life did. when I was a kid. I and I hated that. it. I hated it so bad because I was like, it was before helmets were even cool. And um, uh, I was... A young teenager wanting to just be cool surfer. And it's had, like, like important this... in that time. Of yeah. Look at that age. It's yeah. really important to be like looking cool. Yeah, you're like a, a teenager on North Shore. You mm-hmm. want to be cool. But whatever, I was forced to wear one up until I was like 16 years old. But uh, I remember I put on Co Smiths not long ago at Backdoor. And um, for a helmet, I think it fit good. Like we must have had the same size head or whatever, same size. And I went on a little Backdoor wave pulled in and then kind of it just closed out so I kind of jumped forward to jump off and like try to you know you spin out of a wave like you do a little Mm -hmm. roll when you hit the water I I went as soon as I hit the water I kind of hit it like on my face and the helmet just went with water and just yanked my neck oh and I couldn't spin like a tiny wave and then just went straight over the falls onto the reef I was like Oh Get my god! Get this gosh. thing off of me, dude. That's crazy. It, the water went under and ballooned like a little sea anchor. Yeah, like it just caught the water. I, I don't know if it happens all the time, but it just was my luck or something. But just ballooned me like straight up. And I have a, not a great neck. Yeah. So it yanked it. It just kind of scared me away from it. Like, damn, like I know like we probably should with the waves we surf, but it does impair you so much. It's like kind of learning to surf again. That's super crazy. And... Like, thinking about it, you have more surface area on your head. So even if you, like you said, you dove where normally you would kick out the back, you your little like seal a little dive, roll, yeah. you might not get the penetration on the water because of the larger surface area or the smoothness of the surface area of the helmet. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of factors. And there's been a few guys we've seen who didn't hit their head but started wearing a helmet just to be safer, and they smashed their head on the reef Yeah. with the helmet, break their helmet, still get a traumatic mm-hmm. brain injury, and if there were the only change was like they put the helmet on and maybe they, yeah. I don't know if they thought this or what, but you might think I put the helmet on and I'm safe because I can hit my head, you know, yeah. but you can still break your neck. I don't know. I'm not advising to not wear a helmet. Or, yeah. If you can deal with it. It's just our opinion. It's probably is safer in a way, but to me, the balancing act would be is wearing this helmet going to cause me to fall more than I normally would? And therefore, is there a higher risk of putting the helmet on yeah. like and wearing it? You know, you got to like balance yeah, those things yeah. out. It's, it's a tricky thing. I mean, me and you definitely don't wear them. So that's why I was curious if you're ever thinking about wearing them. You know, it's really been bothering me out at Pipe, even though Pipe's been so bad for so long. You broke your back at the perfect time, by the way, besides uh, missing the eddy. Yeah, dude, Actually, not perfect. Shoot out. not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I, forgot, I forgot about that. But <laughs> It's weird, though, because February, zero waves. Zero. Not a single pipe swell. It's been the worst run of winter. Here, we can get into that, but I, was, I wanted to get into talking about these people now because pipe is such a crowded place. 
the crowd, we call it like the helmet gang. People just are, their skill, skill level is very low. Mm-hmm. And i um, not saying we don't promote people surfing pipe because clearly we put out videos and stuff and mm-hmm. make it look really fun and cool and like getting barreled is awesome. But uh, there is a group of people that just throw a helmet on, throw a padded suit on with no skill level, buy a surfboard, and then just paddle their way out there and just get in such the way like it is crazy that the confidence these things give people that shouldn't be wearing like even out there in the first place it is seriously mind-blowing yeah like i i would never we may have i may have said this on here before or it might have been somewhere else but i'm never gonna show up to the mountain and go on the triple black diamond you know yeah like i know my level is not there i'm gonna stay on what's fun for me and what's safe for me 